so I'm a mobile mechanic and uh, have a lot of interesting videos on this channel but specifically today we will be looking at the retired UPS truck that I use for mobile mechanics so I've got the hood popped here just so you can kind of see the motors hidden back there but it's a diesel motor um, pretty strong pretty big truck coming into the truck here we have my battery compartment this is where I store my two batteries I have them running on an inverter I have an inverter running off of them that I can run and charge electronics with uh, such as my computer my phones we'll get to that in a second uh, coming on up in here we have the co-pilot seat this is where my wife sits when she comes with me so that's a pretty fun place to sit um, you get a good view out of the window fun little place to put your feet here uh, lots of room so it's a fun place and when the door is closed it's kind of like a bus window they just open up and there's no air conditioning there is a heater but uh, unfortunately there is not air conditioning so here's where the driver sits is where i sit and i'll go ahead and turn this on so it charges up i actually instead of having an air conditioning i have a fan so that's pretty cool So it's pretty loud, it's fun, uh, crazy little truck. So, you know, rather than have the air conditioning, I have that fan, I have this vent that lets air in from outside, straight up to here overhead. So the truck's got low mileage, runs great, um, pretty cool to drive, you know, feels like you're driving a semi truck or something like that. It just drives like a normal car, only a lot bigger, so you gotta take turns more carefully. Then, uh, oh, I think I just locked that. <laughs> well, at least it locks up well. So this is where I store all my tools. Coming in back here. You know, I've got this toolbox here. It's the one thing I would change. It's kind of in the way. I'd like to get a toolbox that stands up like that. The good thing is this uh, UPS truck has all of its shelves, which some of the retired UPS trucks do not. They get removed for people to make ice cream trucks or whatever out of. So it's, it's nice that this one has its shelves. Uh, over here is where I have the inverter where I charge all my electronics, my flashlights, the computer if I'm working in here, bag of snacks because I love candy, uh, you know, a new pair of, a uh, new box of gloves because, you know, running out of gloves in the middle of a job is the worst thing ever. <laughs> here is where I store all my fluids and sprays and stuff like that. And uh, my open ones that I'm in the process of using right now. I don't know why I opened four brake cleaners. But I keep my fluids up here. Uh, just the oils, antifreeze, stuff like that. Uh, here I've got some testers, like a battery tester and toolkits. Uh, the tools that you buy that come with their own little kit. I just put them up here. Uh, you know, timing light and stuff like that. Uh, compression test kit, fuel injection pump tester you see there. So just to kind of keep things in their own box and have their own place, I put those there. Down here is where I work on everything, uh, you know, that's not messy. I'm gonna put those on the truck eventually. Uh, electronic stuff, I don't wanna get crushed or dirty. And I do paperwork here, my receipt book, my tool catalogs. And if I'm on the computer, then I work on the computer right here. So that's this nice little shelf. And underneath, I put my ramps to drive cars up on right there. So I've got this stool that I use. When I'm sitting here, they're made for, you know, working around the shop if you're doing breaks or anything like that. But it works well to sit right there and work on the computer. And I store my oil collection cans right there. An old jug of antifreeze uh, waiting to get recycled. So just a nice place to keep those out of the way in case they get a little bit dirty. Um, coming over to this side, you know, I have an engine lift and this engine stand right here. Uh, they break down pretty easy with just removing a bolt or two and then I can put them up here but it's a little bit of work so if I don't need to I just leave them set up and I'll put them on their side if I'm driving around or whatever up here's where you know I've got a warranty that brake disc 
um, you know, I get parts shipped in. So I, I, I put my recyclable parts up here, things that I can reuse, especially being mobile. You know, if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, nothing's worse than running out of uh, something that you need or having to go back to the store for one little part. So if I can keep, you know, a couple of random little things on hand that might come in handy later, then I'm willing to do that. So gas to help people that are broken down on the side of the road. And then down here is where I keep my messy stuff, uh, tools that need to be organized, tools that are dirty, you know, bucket of uh, nuts and bolts, hoses and stuff like that. So just the kind of, you know, general workbench right here. And then down here I put my jack and my jack stands. Back here I, I put my buckets on the wall where I have like toe straps and dirty rags. And over here that's an oil bucket where I, I dump all my used oil to take it to recycling rather than have to take a littler thing several times a week. So this creeper usually goes up on there, but I've been working all day today. That's why it's kind of a mess. Um, replacing this motor so yeah it's nice big room here i've got a whole huge v6 motor uh chevy 350 vortec uh that i'm replacing and so it fits back here nicely as well as plenty of room to work so uh, that's definitely awesome you know i've got toe straps just random things you know to help help people out uh, if i need to to get some work done as well so here's my toolbox this is where i just put the random assortment of tools and uh, fittings that I need every once in a while and I don't don't want to have to go looking for them so I just leave them up here on the top. Here's where my drawer where I put all my wrenches. I have a lot more but they're in my to-go toolkit right now that I'm using in my car rather than driving this big truck around because uh, you know the truck's not too great on fuel if I'm just doing something small across town it makes more sense to drive the car. So I've got sockets there. Here's some wrenches. Here's a drawer of stuff that doesn't fit anywhere else. This is where I put my vacuum pump for bleeding brakes and stuff, although it's out and on the counter right now. A, box, uh, a drawer full of pliers, although most of them aren't in here. In fact, none of them are. <laughs> here's some screwdrivers. And here's just a couple of big things. This is just an empty box, but I just held on to it. So. That is, so that's my uh, my work setup. I kind of mention every now and then I'll just go in the car to do something. Um, you know, we're in school, we're college kids, so it's cheaper to take the car somewhere than obviously I'm gonna do that. Uh, this truck's <clears throat> awesome for bigger jobs. This truck's awesome for bigger jobs, for pulling motors, you know, more in-depth things, being out all day. We can have the whole shop set up in here. Um, so it's been awesome. Just a dream to work out of a UPS truck is what I've always dreamed of, uh, of doing my mobile mechanics out of. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are still watching this video, you're obviously interested in the content of this channel, please subscribe. Um, it'll help out a lot. We're just a growing channel, brand new, and hoping to provide good, entertaining, and wholesome content for everybody on the YouTube platform. So hope you enjoyed. Again, this is the Ernest P YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Peace out.